Today we got a mass casualty incident. You see we got a scene over here, bus flipped over. We covered up the wounds, we stopped the bleeding, we covered it. So my scenario is I'm an actor and I have a laceration on my forehead, my neck hurts and I can't walk. This event is kind of a capstone of everything they've put together so far. We've got simulation set up here, we've got realistic wounds, we've got realistic situation and uh, the students will learn a lot from it. You want me to keep them over there? This is my first time, and for me, leading a crew too is kind of, you know, overwhelming. But, you know, I'm trying to stay calm, trying to, you know, talk to the patients equally calmly. So we're the decon unit. We're uh, spraying down the hazmat suits and cleaning them off after they're in there with the fumes and stuff. You can't get a real feel for what you're doing without placing hands on something. I can talk to them all day long about it but the real experience comes when they get the place hands on. Command to engine three, go ahead and start up behind the hazmat company and start decon. This is actually really cool to have like four different fire stations here. It's kind of awesome. The ambulance is having it. Being, just being part of it is really awesome. So now you see how like we can clear up in there like that? My goal of all this is for all my students. If you don't become a firefighter, you don't come to ENT, that's great. But if you can be a better person and somewhere down the road, you look back on this and go, you know, I overcame that when I was there at school and I did that. If I can overcome that, maybe I can overcome this obstacle in life and we all face obstacles in life. That's my ultimate goal. For like the nurses and the people that are in the police academy, I feel like this is gonna help them because it's gonna have them like do like controlled situations and then for the nurses, they're, they're gonna have to deal with angry and hurt patients that are gonna be begging and screaming for help. You don't really see this every day, so in class, it's kind of just like, oh, yeah, you know, respiration study. It's just on a card, but to actually see it in person is it's kind of crazy. To get close as you can to a real-life situation, I think it's pretty good.